Hello and welcome back to Pico TV. Today we're setting up our own 009 narrow gauge layout using the ST400 starter track set. It's no secret that Pico has been working with one of the most popular narrow gauge railways in the country, the Fastiniog Railway. And if you are dreaming of building your own Welsh narrow gauge railway, there really is no better place to start than with the Great Little Trains range of products from Pico. So today with my young assistant, we're going to build a simple layout and get back to basics. We start off by studying a useful publication, Your Guide to Modelling Narrow Gauge Railways from the Pico Modelers Library. The guide has lots of great ideas and gives lots of information about narrow gauge heritage railways from all around the world and all over the country, including the Fastiniog Railway, which we are going to be focusing on today. Now let's take a quick step back in time to immerse ourselves in the beginnings of the notable narrow gauge railway. Following the official end of the Fastiniog service on the 9th of August in 1946, there were several endeavours to preserve this pioneering narrow gauge railway, which culminated in 1954, when Alan Pegler provided the necessary funds to transfer ownership of the Fastiniog Railway Company to the current administration. This paved the way for growing enthusiasts to resurrect the line with a lot of hard work and determination as a tourist attraction. This footage from 1956 shows Prince, then the Fistiniog's only operational locomotive taking carriages number 11 and number 12 from Porth Maddock to Meenthorf, which was the extent of the Fistiniog's operations. After having got excited and started thinking about the Fastiniog Railway and building our own in miniature, we then looked at the set track plan book to give us a few more ideas and inspiration for what is possible with the ST400 set. Also, on the rear of the packaging there are three straightforward layouts that can be built straight out of the box. I've left Christian in charge of putting the track together using the diagram on the back of the packaging as a guide. Within minutes the layout has been put together and all it's left to do is connect the wires to the controller. And then we're running trains before we know it. If I'm lucky I might get a go. One of the items we found very useful is the Pico Tools Loco Lift which can be used across all scales and is an excellent device for removing a 009 locomotive off the track. If you wish to expand your layout further, there are these multi-packs to increase the size of your layout, and the Pico Streamline track system is fully compatible with set track. There's also the wheels material sheets, the SSMP232 slate walling, which is perfect for creating buildings found in and around the Fastiniog. However, that might be for the more advanced modeler, but when you feel ready to have a go at scratch building your own slate building, why not give it a try? We all have to start somewhere. The small England ready to run locomotives are excellent and come in a range of liveries with a multitude of wagons and coaching stock. The Pico product and modeling guide has the full 009 range of products available. And because the scale of 4mm to the foot is the same across 00 and 009, there is a huge amount of product available from Pico. Products such as ballast, static grass and the wider wheels material sheet range, plus so much more. So Pico really is a one-stop shop for all things narrow gauge. So let your imagination run riot and begin your journey of building your own Welsh narrow gauge railway.